Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today is going to be the mixed girl tag. No one's requested this. I just want to do it for myself. The mixed girl tag is basically a bunch of questions for people of multi, multi race, people who are multiracial, something like that. And it's kind of like a get to know me as well, but with a little bit of spice. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, subscribe for more videos. There's different types of content that I want to be posting on this channel, so do subscribe and stay tuned for that. Don't forget to put on post notifications. I'm not consistent yet, so when I upload, you guys will actually get a notification of that. Um, another thing is... Comment video ideas, like anything. I'll, I'll probably make it. Let's just get started and let's get to question one. What are you mixed with? Okay, so I'm mixed with Samoan and Dutch primarily. My dad is Dutch from Amsterdam and Oosterwijk and my mom is Samoan from Upolu. And um, yeah, but my mom's grandma, my great grandma is actually Tongan, full Tongan. So I don't know the percentages or whatever that would for me, but I like to just primarily say that I'm half Dutch and half Samoan. Question number two. What ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? Um, Modi, Colombian, like Hispanic, that kind of thing. And once I was mistaken and asked if I was South African. Would you believe that? Like, and she was South African. I was like, sis, no. Question number three. Is your hair curly or straight? Obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that all I post is literally my hair and embracing my hair. So yeah, um, my hair's curly. It used to be straight, like wavy, and now it's curly. So there's a T on that. Question number four. Was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Um, I definitely would say it wasn't noticeably challenging, but now that I look back on it at, you know, the age of 18. When you come from a few different backgrounds or two different backgrounds or whatever, I feel like you do notice the difference in beliefs and morals and cultures and all that kind of thing. And I feel like when you're mixed, you have to decide for yourself what values and what beliefs and what perspectives you want to take from both or either. I definitely have done that. But yeah, I feel like there's beauty in it. It can be difficult finding who you are and what parts of you you want to embrace the most. I feel like you should embrace all parts if you are multiracial. Honestly, the thing that bothered me growing up was kind of like the small comments of being lighter or being made fun of for not tanning enough. But it wasn't ever like fully to the point of bullying or like I was crying about being mixed. Number five is which backgrounds do you embrace the most? I will definitely say that and admit, admit, I will definitely admit that I embrace my Samoan side more and that's just genuinely because I know more about it I can understand the language majority of it and um, I can pick up the language when I'm hanging around Samoan family because when I lived there I obviously picked it up and was pretty good with my Samoan I feel like because I know more about it and I um, have been around it more I just would embrace it more but I definitely do want to go visit Oosterwijk Amsterdam in the Netherlands I definitely want to learn more about my dad's side but the language I'm not sure if I'll ever pick up Dutch because it is very difficult like I can pronounce most words but it's tongue twisters and it just sounds like <laughs> But then again, people struggle with pronouncing Samoan words too, but I don't know. Moving on. Number six, have you ever been teased for being different? Honestly, in school, there was actually, I had a, like, look, thinking about it now, I actually had a lot of friends who were also mixed. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you're one of the girls that I'm talking about when we grew up, but, so one of my friends is actually Turkish and Australian. Another one was Indian and I think Australian, but she was like, like her mom's like Caucasian. Um, what was another one? I don't know, I, like, I had some close friends who were mixed as well. We didn't really, like, set it like, oh, we're all mixed, like, that's cool, like, kind of thing. But yeah, I feel like because there were other kids who were half and half as well as me, there was no, like, you know, oh, she's different, like, oh, oh, he's different. And, like, it was never like that, it was just kind of like, because in Sydney, no doubt that there's, like, racism, but in the area and, like, community I grew up in, there was no real discrimination that I personally noticed towards like being mixed or you know having different color parents or parents from different countries or whatever number seven have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial no not really i embrace it more than ever nowadays i guess i didn't really pay attention to it when i was younger i never really thought of it as a thing i was just kind of like i'm me these are my parents this is my two sides of the family like 
We vibe. I didn't really notice it. Let's move on to number uh, number eight. Do you feel like being mixed has its benefits too? Ah, uh, I think it does because I feel like you get two perspectives on the world and like perspectives on like with morals and like culture and beliefs and all that kind of thing i feel like you get a taste of both and i feel like you should be grateful for that to be honest like i feel like there's benefits but from both sides of my family like my dad's side and my mom's side i definitely got a lot of values from both and a lot of them were the same about family and helping people and being genuine there's a lot of that that coming from both sides but I feel like when you um, when you're like multiracial or like have two different races, and of course there's going to be clashes and there's going to be um, different beliefs and points and stands on things. But I feel like as you are mixed, you get to decide what you want to take from with from either, and you get to be the person you want to be. Because I feel like when you're not mixed, lived your whole life from like the perspective of one country, it's hard for you to understand someone who's mixed. Like with my mom's side, like all my cousins. A lot of things we might not agree on because my perspective is so different to theirs because they've been raised in like a full Samoan household whereas I've I'm in Australia and I have a white dad and a brown mom I feel like your mindset is gonna be a lot different it's actually a beautiful thing because you get you get both perspectives and you kind of have your own perspective with both if that makes sense I never said I had a degree in explaining things so bear with me number nine is what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing i think it's beautiful um in the sense that especially with a lot of people who are older than me um your parents might have had you in a time where having a mixed baby it, like it wasn't considered a good thing or it wasn't considered appropriate for what was happening in the world i think it, i think i think it's beautiful because um two people from two different countries, two different belief systems, two different religions possibly, have come together and made you. And I feel like that is so beautiful in itself. Especially if they were battling with racism and um, people's strong opinions on mixing cultures and having mixed babies. And they didn't care, like their love prevailed and they had you. So I think you should really be grateful for being mixed and um, really be uh, appreciative that your parents had you and that they made you so cool. I think being mixed is really cool. Final question today is number 10, and that is any advice to someone who struggles with their multiracial identity? Now, I'll say one thing. You were made either half and half, quarters of whatever. You were made mixed, and I feel like you shouldn't have to identify with just one race. That's my personal belief. I feel like you shouldn't have to identify with just one, and you shouldn't have to just follow with one. Um, you embrace what you want to embrace. I feel like you should embrace, like, you know, whatever you are, wherever you come from, wherever your parents and ancestors came from. I think you should never be ashamed to admit where you're from. No matter what war or what conflict or whatever history your countries have, you should never ever deny where you come from. And I feel that if you're struggling with finding who you are and struggling to know uh, what side of your families that you should follow and all that, it's up to you. You have two perspectives or, or more. Choose what you want to believe, choose how you want to act and what morals you want to take. You are your own person and you'll find that whatever time period that you'll find that. Okay, so that wraps up today's video. I hope it was informative, not informative. I thought I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys, bleh. I hope today's video was actually a little insight of who I am and a little get to know me kind of thing. I do want to do a Q&A in future. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are well in this time. There's a lot going on in the world and I feel like we need to be a lot more patient with each other. Not on topics, but um, everyone's very stressed and everyone's got um, things going on in their life. And I feel like we all need to be uh, considerate of each other's feelings and reach out to a friend. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Reach out to a friend today and ask them how they're doing if you haven't spoken to them in a while. Because everyone's got their own shit. Um, don't hold people accountable for not messaging you for a while because everyone's got their own things going on. I'll see you in the next video, whenever that is. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.